gentleman from California is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support here of the 21st Century Flood Reform Act. And I think what Chairman Jeb Henserling was able to do here, uh, and Chairman Duffy, is put forward a bill that has really brought together the Montagues and the Capulets. I mean, when you think about the fact that on one hand, you've got the environmental community supporting this, and you've got taxpayers' advocates. You've got conservative think tanks, and you've got affordable housing groups. You have the reinsurers, and you have the insurers. And, I, you know, we talked about two priorities that at least I was pushing to reauthorize the National Flood Insurance Program. One of those was to provide better disclosure to consumers about flood risk. We wanted them to know. And the second was to decrease the number of repeatedly flooded properties. This bill accomplishes both of those things. Section 108 of the bill includes language that I authored which will provide information to home buyers about past flood events, about the damage, about insurance claims, about any obligation they might have to carry flood insurance. And that the National Association of Realtors supports this common sense approach. Section 402 of the bill includes the bipartisan repeatedly flooded communities preparation act sponsored by Representative Earl Blumenhauer and by myself. The, this means that repeated flooded properties which comprise less than 2% of NFIP policies, but account for what? One third, one third of all claims are dealt with. Responsible community-driven mitigation is a win-win proposal. One which will help our neighborhoods become stronger in the face of floods and address the fiscal footing of the overall program by decreasing the costs as this is addressed at the community level. And finally, Mr. Speaker, I'd particularly like, like to thank the Pew Charitable Trust, their Flood Prepared Communities Initiative for support of our reform efforts. Uh, thank you. I urge passage.